So hello and welcome. <clears throat> For this tutorial I will be um, showing you, let's say teaching you how to make a little game. It's a math game and what it does, remember uh, in math when they taught us algebra, they would say x, let's say x plus 5 equals 10 and then they ask you, they ask you what's the value of x. So obviously you would do something like x uh, plus 5 minus 5 equals 10 minus 5. And then the value of x will be equal to um, 5. Yeah. Um, I expect you to find the value of x in this game. But you don't have to type this. Okay, just type the answer number 5. That's what I expect. Okay. So, we start by importing some values, okay? We're gonna use the OS to clear the screen. We're gonna use the time to set the timer. And we are also going to use um, time, OS, and random, okay? Because we're gonna make these numbers appear at random, okay? <clears throat> now, we are now, first of all, we're gonna set um, the timer okay set uh, set the timer and then after two seconds it's gonna tell you whether you've done it right or wrong and then clear the screen and ask another question okay so for that to happen because it's gonna be repeated we are going to put it into function we're gonna call this refresh okay refresh and then it doesn't need any parameters in it However, we're going to set the time to, uh, let's say, time to sleep, and it's going to sleep for two seconds, okay, and then afterwards, it's going to clear the screen, we do os.clear, uh, I mean, os the system, rather. Some, um, some platforms may fail to clear this, okay, but for this one, it works. Oh, yes, the system uh, in brackets you put clear. So that's a fast function of ours. Okay, the next one will be asking us questions. Okay, define another function. We are gonna call it question or QN. Okay, now in this one, this function, what it does is uh, it's going to ask. A question. Uh, it's going to ask you what is the value of x. Now, it will pick from random. Um, so let's say x is x is randomly randomly uh, chosen. Okay, x is random. So let me first of all close that. We don't need it for now. X is randomly chosen, okay? One to nine, for example, right? Okay, now, going back to the function, we're gonna say global, because these variables are used, um, they are used in other parts, okay? That's why we make them global variables. So they're not only functional in this question function, they are also used or called elsewhere. Then we're gonna say number. Now, for example, number is equal to random dot random. Int. We want it to be an integer number. Okay, it's a random integer value or whole number from one to uh, one to nine. Okay, one to nine. All right. Now we set the value of number. Then what? We're now gonna set the value of answer. Okay. However answer is what the user types in okay so it's going to be an input yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be an input now they can type in you know 5.3 or whatever it is but at the end of the day it, we're gonna use a try and accept function and what this does is to try something if if it fails it's gonna show a different error message my own error message anyway Function, uh, we're going to format everything inside these um, uh, speech marks. And 
wait okay like that okay so we're gonna say what is um x what is x oh, what is the value let's say what is the value of x okay what's the value of x if now we're gonna put a new line there okay and then if x is equal to uh, no x plus plus now hang on x is not the one that's randomly selected because it's this number i want to uh select at random okay so number because yeah because you're asking for the value of x so it can't be a number it's just x no one knows it they need to work it out number so this is um in curly braces because it is a variable okay it's this variable here which was a random number between one and nine both inclusive or from one to nine x plus number equals equals let's say 10 question mark and then a new line and then i'm going to allow them to type their answer oh i would just say x equals x equals so there I, I expect them to type the value of x right now i'm going to make another function and i'm going to name it start i'm going to name it start but for now let's call it from here for a minute okay for now just for now right that is function that's the function for question okay so now start let's define that okay uh, define start i want start all right then now what does start do this is where the exceptions come in try this okay try this if now we need answer so this will not work unless you convert answer to an integer value or a whole number if the answer they provided here okay after asking them this question plus the number that was selected at random okay that number uh both the if the sum of those both of them is equal to 10 it's gonna show a, a message to the user it's gonna print um something like maybe good or maybe correct correct yep it's gonna print correct however or else it's gonna print wrong yeah wrong uh, let's make them two okay so that's what's gonna happen however if except now the exception is if you ask them for a number type in a number and uh, let's say rather than a zero that zero they instead type o letter o or rather than number one they typed i that means this this isn't gonna work we need to throw an exception here we will say uh print but, but you know if you type that they won't know if they've made a mistake or what mistake they've made so let's say whole numbers only please and i can put this in brackets and say example but now <clears throat> If all this has happened what next now this is where we bring question okay we want the question we want the program to carry on yeah they got it right then we want the program to carry on now in some instances you want to reward them with some marks they got it right i mean you can add it in later on its own let's make it really basic here okay we don't need to reward them any marks it's just if they got it right they got it right that's it okay question and then afterwards we're gonna call question again okay now this is where the program starts the program starts here this function question is only called after they've answered the first the first time they play this game when they give an answer it says correct or it says wrong if they got it right it says correct if they got it wrong it says wrong print, it prints wrong if they mistyped or typed whatever characters are not expected then it's gonna say whole numbers only please eg number five and then it will call the question to play the game yeah so that's the code for this uh subscribe like my videos leave a little comment a good comment of course let me change this with capital w so we're gonna have a go at it and see what happens okay so 
let's try this what is the value of x x plus 3 equals 10 what's the answer uh, 7 right it says correct what is the value of x if x plus 9 equals 10 now there's something I've forgotten here I forgot to bring the refresh yeah so the refresh this here this function is supposed to delete to remove everything here yeah, I can put it before question here yeah so let's try again what is the value of x x plus 9 equals 10 I put a let's say I make a mistake and I put eu 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 whole numbers only please eg 5 then it refreshes what's the value of x this time x plus 3 equals 10 and I put let's say a wrong number like that it says wrong okay and then it refreshes again x plus 9 equals 10 what's x I put minus minus 45 54 whole numbers only please okay and I say okay uh, x plus 1 equals 10 uh, 9 of course that's correct um, x plus 5 I say minus 5 wrong like that okay see if you can imp improve this little game of ours and you know try and make them earn a few points yeah you can introduce that from here you know or let them lose some points somewhere around there okay you can add something there yeah a code that allows them to lose points and then you can add a code here you add a code here that allows them that adds some points let's see how you get on on this okay anyway thanks for watching and um i hope you've enjoyed it leave a comment subscribe like my videos please and thank you bye